Hello my friends and thank you ever so much for joining me on this next warm up in the series. This playlist has been put together especially for you. Those people that kind of understood that they need to warm up their bodies before exercise. And this is why I've constructed uh, a fun and very active warm up. I am for today's purposes just doing 30 seconds with each of the exercises. But if you are feeling stiff or maybe you have some ailments in certain joints, then by all means extend that. And also, if you're coming to exercise for the first time and you're uh, maybe just building up your confidence or just trying to understand a bit more about your body, then by all means keep repeating these warm ups because being active will reduce body fat, will get you more mobile, and will also in the long term allow you for greater flexibility which is why we are all here and this is why we're doing these types of exercises. Okay, we're gonna start up now. Um, so what I'd like you to do is be in position. I'm gonna go for my stopwatch. Um, in position for me means that we've got our four corners of the feet planted on the floor. Our knees are unlocked, okay? Lots of people when they come to exercise are rigid, so let's be nice and soft in the joints. Planting the four corners of the toes down, and let's begin by being tall and upright for 30 seconds. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna gently bring one foot off the floor as if we've got glue at the, so on the soles of our feet. And we're just lifting gently. The reason we're doing this is that it's spatial awareness. What? is our lower body doing? And we can start feeling the hips move, the knees move, the ankles move. Five seconds left. Then we're going to start now with a foot roll. So the foot roll is from the heel to the toe. Be soft in the knees again. Okay, so let's go. So toes and heel, toes and heel. And if you've watched any of the other videos, you know this is a, a favorite of mine. I like this one. How are you getting on with the warm up so far? I've only done two, but I'm hoping that maybe you've tried some of the other ones. Let me know. Happy to talk to you at any point. So just reach out if you need any assistance. Five seconds left. And back to the front and center. So what we're gonna do now, very similar. We're gonna roll outwards. So we're rolling our toes and our feet outwards. To so this case is there. And then we're gonna come in. So out and then in, out, and then in. And I do realize this is quick. I'm doing it for the video purpose, um, but if you're following along, by all means do one complete warm up and then start over. And then just keep going. See if you can get three, see if you can get five. See how, you di how different your body feels from doing just one set like we're doing on the video today, or hitting the rewind button and keep coming back at it, say five out of the seven days of your week. Okay, that's 30 seconds. So let's take a wider stance now with our feet, making sure we've got the four corners planted. And all we're going to do now, is we're gonna turn at the hips. Soft knees, just let the body flow with this one. So let's just see what your hips can do, how the lower body functions by just moving for 30 seconds in a nice smooth rhythm. Oh, I do like this one. This one really does stretch me right from the crown of my head all the way to my feet. I think it's really helpful doing this if you're running or moving lots of different directions, like maybe in the golf course with a swing, or maybe a tennis shot. Okay, just finished there with that one. Okay, let's go out to the lateral toe step, which is a favorite of mine, nice and wide. We're really pushing off, push, and then push. Let's be really dynamic now. We want to try and bring the heart rate up as we're working. So let's really go. Again, I'm putting some of my favorite moves in here. I like this one, because it really does push the body. I'm gonna to come to the end now. Let's use the upper body. Do a slight sideways glance. So we're going to push the hands out, wide back round, and then through. So let's go 30 seconds, arms out, wide, and then back through. 
familiar maybe to you swimmers out there is the best breaststroke but we're doing it to get the upper body active be careful not to be too tilted on the spine so be nice and strong around this area so arms out and then back round you have a go now arms out back round let's keep going arms out back round arms out back round five more seconds and let's finish there okay we have a forward bend so we're bending from the hips so the feet are shoulder width apart We've got a nice stable point of view when you're bending down and then you're coming back up so let's do that for 30 seconds be careful not to over arch here be kind so have maybe a hand on the front and rear of your back as you're going forward and then back let's do 30 seconds forwards and then back For, excuse me forwards and then back forwards back forwards and back don't go too quick with this one what we're trying to do is to stretch out the lower back <coughs> Make sure the four corners of your feet are planted whilst you're doing this, you're soft in the knee. Come into the end of the 30 seconds and let's rest there. Okay, fingertips on the uh, shoulders here and we're just gonna do loops. 15 seconds forwards, 15 seconds back. So let's start with our forwards for 15 seconds. Nice big wide loops with the elbows. Really activate under the arms, the shoulders, the back. This is a real beaut, this one. Let's keep going. And let's change direction. Change direction, I had my feet too close together then, so I felt that my uh, stability was challenged. So that's when I realized that my feet weren't shoulder width apart. And we've got 30 seconds there. Okay, bit of an odd one now, it might be a bit strange. But what I want you to do is tap down the left side of your body, bring the arm up, and then come into this position by sliding the hand or tapping the body up the right, sorry, the <laughs> lefts and rights, I might get it right myself. Tapping the body, tapping the body, and then we're gonna go down. The reason we're, that we're tapping is we're just taking ownership of the different elements of our body that are working. Okay, so let's put 30 seconds on. Start with the left side. So let's tap down the arm, bring the arm up, turn, come down the left side of the body, and then come back up. We're banding forward as we're doing that. Start again, so right side, tap, 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 tap. Bring the hand up to the ceiling. Now I'm tapping under the arm, bending at my hip, and also coming to the floor and then coming back up. So you can see we're twisting and pulling the whole of the body. That does need some practice, I appreciate that. Um, hope you've enjoyed this warm up. I'm gonna finish it there. If you feel it's a bit technical, wanna go over it again, then by all means do. And if you feel that you haven't warmed up fully, extended to 60 seconds, but just for the purpose of this video, has been 30 seconds for each exercise. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.